welcome back good morning and om shanti to all of your listeners and this is your own channel seek the soul that truth lies within and in this channel you are listening to the blessings portion but there's a playlist which takes you down below in the description it takes you towards diet plan it takes you towards yoga asanas chair exercises depression divorce cases breakups and many things how to handle them what to learn out of them and many many more different topics are given down below even about parenting so have a look down below click on the link go to the playlist open them and if you like something do share it with others now let's go ahead with today's blessing the 230th day of a god blessing what does baba have to say today let's understand baba says may you be an embodiment of the reward of effort by constantly having a constant and perfect mood now mood swings that's what we are talking about why do we have mood swings what leads to mood swings when we sin there's mood swing when we are doing the right karmas moods are already intact but let's understand what baba has to say in details baba says bab dada observes from the subtle region that the mood of some children changes a lot subtle region there are three worlds actually the supreme world where god the father stays then the angelic world in between even the christianity has spoken about and then we come down to the earth world or the human world you must have seen even in the hindu different uh, religious uh, movies or let's say some episodes that there are divine beings who are throwing flowers from top and then earthly beings are being garlanded are being garnished by those flowers you can say that garnished so what is that world that is the subtle world no human body can stay there but then how to show a white angelic body so they have shown a f- complete physical body from the subtle world from where they are throwing flowers on to the deities down below or on the kings and queens so that is the subtle world now nobody throws flowers from there because there is no oxygen over there you don't have trees up there that you can or you can't plant flowers over there so that is giving blessings or having good wishes for somebody is like an example or a metaphor for throwing flowers now let's get back to this vardan that we can get in details when you come to brahma kumaris baba says bab dada observes from the subtle region that the mood of some children changes a lot he is seeing that sometimes they have a surprise mood what happened how did it happen how could i get angry how did that person just insult me and i i just lost my cool and mood god has told me to be in meditation how did i lose it surprise i didn't do something wrong surprise sometimes they have a surprised mood sometimes a mood of question marks why it's happening to me why can't i meditate why can't i get connected to god why i am always surrounded by problems question marks sometimes a mood of confusion am i in the right place is this knowledge the right knowledge am i listening to the right thoughts these are all the questions of doubts of confusion sometimes they are in a swing of tension and sometimes a swing of attention so they are tense sometimes how will i be peaceful how will i find balance of my mind how will i find happiness so that is a tension and then sometimes attention okay god had told me so and so things don't think negative don't think impure thoughts about others don't have bad wishes for others focus on yourself no competition no comparison only do service and do service which is going to be unlimited service don't don't expect anything in return no fame no no name nothing in physical also and am i following that so attention comes in suddenly okay i did wrong in certain areas which god had told me not to do then we check so sometimes tension sometimes attention then baba says however the confluence age is the age of experiencing the reward now what is this confluence age many of us have heard about the golden age the silver age the copper age the iron age in hindi we call it as the kalyug sorry the satyug then treta yug then dwapar yug then kalyug and then what is this extra yug that is the leap year yug or the leap age like we have a leap year after every 4 years we have an extra day right in the month of february here 
we have after every four yugas or every four complete ages golden silver copper iron there is a complete incognito age where the supreme father comes down to purify the completely impure world the iron aged world the kali yuga has to be transformed and only god can do it no prime minister no country with finances no country with weapons can change iron age into golden age nobody can change anybody by force or by the power of muscle so god has to come down and that is known as a confluence age so then baba says however the confluence age is the age of experiencing the reward not the effort and so the father's virtues are the children's either i'm using godly virtues or i'm using worldly virtues in kali yug or in the iron age we use sinful acts or we use manipulation or we use anger ego jealousy and we use all these negative qualities and we make more of a sin and we have more of mood swings so god says you are my children so you have godly virtues not satanic virtues and god says and so the father's virtues are the children's the father's stage is the children's stage god is always in a constant mood so if we imbibe his knowledge we become somebody who are, who is in a constant mood but if we use satanic thoughts we are never going to be in constant mood then god says this is the reward of the confluent sage so constantly have a constant and perfect mood and you will be said to be equal to the father that is an embodiment of the reward now what is this knowledge which helps us to be in a constant mood to think the right thoughts at the right time we can all learn that at brahma kumaris and this is the knowledge which is given by god and the knowledge in other scriptures can make you stable but not for a very long time you have to have the right thoughts the right meaning and the right source of learning which can only be given by god otherwise after having all the scriptures why the world has turned into kali yuga that's a question for you if you have any answer do let me know after having so many temples and so many different places of worship why the world has become more and more corrupt after having so many scriptures being printed in millions and millions of copies why has it become corrupt why are people not reading so much of it as compared to 100 or 1000 years back where is the power gone that's where god comes in that's why he has to come down in this confluence age and give the right knowledge the purest knowledge and very few people can recognize this knowledge if you are one of them you can find that out by going to brahma kumaris and learning this knowledge for free at the university i leave you with this beautiful vardhan have a blessed day stay safe and stay healthy om shanti